What's good, everybody? Okay, let's get into this Kobe Bryant Dodgers jersey I just customized. So I have a client. He's a huge Dodgers fan, and he's a big Kobe Bryant fan. So he wanted to create a Los Angeles Dodgers Kobe Bryant jersey, right? Only thing is he wanted the numbers and the name to be snakeskin, leather, genuine leather. So... He also wanted it to be the home version, which is the white version you see here with the blue lettering and so on. So he reached out to me, shot me the idea and wanted me to execute and just add in pieces that I felt were fitting to the jersey. So let's get into the details. Let me get a little closer for y'all. Hold on. OK. So. To start. I used a blank from a company called Marusi, Marusi, however you want to pronounce it, right? They specialize in equipment, baseballs, baseball bats, baseball gloves, etc. And they also make pro weight, pro mesh, pro cut baseball jersey blanks, right? So... My client wanted to get it as close to, to a game jersey as possible. So I went with the blank from Marusi. Right? Now, I could have made the jersey from scratch. I could have made the blank myself. But as far as weight and pro cut goes, I probably would not have nailed that like they like this company has. So shout out to them for, for providing the blank. Now let's get into the details. So he wanted the numbers on the front to be red snake skin. Now here's the thing. When he told me that, I thought he just wanted regular uh, snake skin color because he didn't specify the color. So when I sent him pictures of the snake skin, he was like, no, I want it to be exactly like the jersey, red number on the front, royal blue on the back. So I said, oh, you need red and royal blue snake skin. I said, oh, shit. This is, that's where the headache began. Because finding that here in Atlanta, it's impossible. Now, you can find the fake snake skin, the faux, the faux leather, but he wanted it to be real leather. So I had to get on a hunt for that. And when I actually found the skins and ordered it, when the skins came in, they were actually... A lot paler than the photos used to advertise the skin. Like the photos used were vibrant. And when I got the skins in, they were dull. So I had to brighten up the leather and I had to darken the leather. So it's a little trick that I have to do that. And it worked. As you can see, the red is pretty vibrant as well as the blue on the back. For the Dodgers patch on the front and the LA patch all stitched this is all royal blue reflective now okay there's nobody in the custom game doing reflective patchwork especially not like the patchwork I do there's not one person you can look you can search there's nobody doing this there's nobody doing a royal blue reflective Dodgers logo right now he wanted it to be just regular blue he didn't know that I was going to make it reflective, but he just wanted it to be royal blue like the actual jersey. I did. I use the reflective because for one, that's my thing. I love reflective. Um, two, I'm able to create these colors in reflective, so I use them. And three, it adds a special detail into the jersey that you just won't see on any other jersey. Now, this idea was my client's idea. He wanted the Hollywood star, Kobe Bryant's actual Hollywood star on the jersey. So <laughs> I went to find a Hollywood star template so I could create the patch and make the patch. But I didn't realize that his star had this special snake logo that I couldn't find anywhere. So this is the crazy part. <laughs> My brother, Big A, Big A Prado, follow him. He's in L.A. right now. I had him go to the star, find it. Let me, let me say that first. 
and take a flat, clear overview picture of the star so that I can take that picture and make it into a patch because all the pictures I found online were like slanted and sloped and, you know, at an angle. I needed a flat image of the star and that's what I had to do. I, <laughs> I'm surprised he even did it, but he did it and he did it pretty quick too. He, I guess he out there just, he was relaxing or he was close to it. I don't know, but he did it and sent me the picture. Okay, fine. So I thought that was pretty dope. Like this is the actual star. This isn't like some graphic. This is a picture of the actual star. I made it into a patch, added the gold twill around it and stitched it down. Okay. Now we go to the jock tag. Of course, the Cooperstown collection by Manolo Prado and the Kobe Bryant jock tag, uh, date tag, 1978. Um, the year he was born in 2020, the year he passed. Rest in paradise. Uh, these letters are actually reflective as well. The Kobe Bryant 1978 through 2020 are, are actually reflective. So if you see the pictures on my page, if you keep swiping, you'll see and catch the reflect. So my client wanted number eight on the front and the back. And of course, I felt like 24 should be incorporated into the jersey as well as the Lakers colors. Um, so I used this 24 patch halo, halo patch as the halo for the LA Dodgers logo on the sleeve just to incorporate that 24 and that purple and gold. Um, I felt like it was necessary. Okay, let's go to the back. All right, to start on the back, you see that blue, that royal blue snake skin. And actually, this, this snake skin came in more of a baby blue color. But like I said, I darkened it. I made the color richer and brought it into that royal blue that we needed to match the rest of the royal blue on the jersey. So... All of this is snakeskin, the Mamba. He wanted Mamba as the name, opposed to Bryant, which I love. I love the Mamba detailing. And I guess he wanted to use the snakeskin for the Mamba, of course. I created that nameplate. Now, all of these patches you see, I hand cut and sew myself. The zigzag detailing, the zigzag stitch, I do all myself. Now, I also felt that Gigi needed to be remembered on this piece as well. Um, so, typically on an MLB jersey at the neckline, you'll find the MLB logo. I decided to create a patch of Kobe and Gigi and use that instead of the MLB detailing. It's just a subtle touch that I felt was necessary and... More than likely, this is going to be the one thing on the jersey that starts a conversation. You know what I mean? Uh, my client, he goes to a lot of Dodgers games. So I'm pretty sure the people behind him are going to be like, yo, this is crazy. Where'd you get that? So on and so on. So I think that's a conversation piece. But um, that's pretty much it for this jersey, man. I love this jersey. It took me forever to do it because I had to sew. <laughs> I had to cut all these patches and sew everything down. Like every layer is sewn. But I love the way it came out. Comment, share it. Let me know what y'all think about it. Peace.